Hello, D. Martez here. It's Monday, June 17th, 2013. Welcome to D. Martez Presents Co-Eds, and I'm here with Shanna and our special guest, Miss Garner. Yeah, Cassandra. Yes. Yeah, she's a glam addict, and yes. she'll tell you a little bit more about that. Brian and Angela have the day off. So if this is your first time watching Co-Eds, we give you the latest in entertainment news, lots of opinions, and laughs. So ladies, first up, how was the weekend? Oh. Oh, honey, it was fabulous. Fabulous. Good fabulous. Good fabulous. weekend. Yes. Yeah. We want to definitely say uh, Happy Father's Day to all the dads. Yeah. yeah. Happy Father's Day, Yeah, dad. yesterday was Father's Day. So, um, that was exciting. Yes, I'm a daddy's girl. I was yeah. blessed with a great father and a great stepfather, so... Yes, me too. Yeah. Me too. Daddy's girl uh, too. I'm really, really a daddy's really girl. Blessed. Cool. Yeah. So this is what we have for you today. We're going to talk about uh, Layla Gobody. Now Layla Gobody says that Kanye West cheated on Kim Kardashian with her, but now Layla is saying Kanye did not. So she's retracting what she says. Also, Kanye West's new album Jesus drops tomorrow, but there's bad news for Kanye with his album release. And nine-year-old girls introduce President Obama at a gay lesbian event. Lots of backlash there. And Dunkin' Donuts to reward workers for enduring a customer's racist rant. So all of that and more right here on Coeds. Uh, but first, first day of summer, June 22nd is the first official day. But I don't know about y'all, but it feels like... We are in, like, we've been in summer. In hell. <laughs> I hate it is, the it's a, uh, mm, it's Ooh, a lot. So, oh. I don't know. Cassandra, I know you're a, a glam addict and you, you know, work with a lot of ladies and yes. hair and makeup and stuff. Phenomenal makeup artist. Yeah, definitely. Yes. But just tell the ladies, I mean, in this heat, what can you do to still look beautiful but yet stay cool? Well, in this type of heat, there's not much you can do. <laughs> <laughs> For my natural ladies, I just suggest that you wear your hair natural. Um, I have naturally curly hair. Mm -hmm. um, and during the summertime, I just wear my hair curly. I try not to straighten it because the heat is really damaging on the hair. Mm -hmm. right. So you want to just, I do a wash and go or a twist out and it's, basically a pr protective style a protective. for um for the summertime heat yeah because mm -hmm. it is hot so what are you going to do with uh when the hurricanes hit because we're in the midst of hurricane season yeah. and they're saying that it's going to be a pretty active season because you know we didn't have much of a winter right. it's really hot right. so are y'all prepared are you gearing up do you have your batteries and your hey, flashlights i'm leaving or? You right. <laughs> Child, the we tried to that was too much. Yeah, Child, that's I'm lot. gonna go. Yeah, so but we still have a lot of stuff from previous hurricane, hurricane seasons. Yeah. yeah so. so yeah, summer's I, the twenty second official first day, and it is hurricane season. Mm -hmm. All right. On a serious note, before we get into the entertainment news, uh, plane explosion here in Louisiana last yeah. week. There was a chemical explosion at the Williams uh, Olfens plant in Geismar, Louisiana that mm -hmm. resulted in two people dying and 77 being injured. Mm -hmm. One man was 27 and the other 47. So mm -hmm. definitely prayers go out to their families. Mm -hmm. um, sadly to report that on Friday, yet another chemical plant explosion took place. The explosion was at the CF Industries plant in Donaldsonville, Louisiana. One man died who was 56, and seven others were injured. So, really sad, you know, those plants. And I know I know a couple of people that work at plants, and I know they have safety meetings, like, mm -hmm. every morning. That's part of the routine. And I think, you know, you kind of think it's, like, foolproof, but when something like this happens, it kind of reminds you that you can never be... Right. You know, too sure, but it's really sad. So we pray for those folks. We really do. All right. So entertainment news. <laughs> Let's talk about uh, Lil Layla Gobati. Oh, yeah. Who is that? Okay. Now <laughs> first up, she's a 24 year old Canadian model. Okay, and she told the Sun that she did hook up with Kanye West back in 2011, not 2012. As she first reported, she said, we began to make out for a while, and next thing we knew, we were both butt naked having sex. That's what she told the star. She said that she met Kanye in October, and Kim was already pregnant with his child. This took place in New York while Kim was in South Florida. Now she's saying that she and Kanye hooked up before he was with Kim. She initially told the tabloid that Kanye and her relationship 
um, you know, was really hot and heavy. So basically, she's lying. Right. She is retracting the story. Right. Now she did say he will never be faithful to one girl, and he has women falling at his feet all the time. So what do we think of Miss uh, Gobadi? She's, she's a, a liar. She's a liar. Yeah, I, what the baby name is? <laughs> Her name is uh, Layla. Okay, Layla. Go Layla, by. whatever. <laughs> I think that this is a wonderful publicity stunt because right. honestly, I didn't even know who the heck she was, nor do I. I still don't really care who she is. Right. And um, I mean, at least you know she has us talking about her because right. she's a part of this alleged affair between. Kanye West and with the whole Kim Kardashian thing and honestly when it all boils down to it, it's a publicity stunt. Right? And she's right. a, Cana- a Canadian model. model. Yeah. Baby, I don't know she's who hot. you are. She's hot but, hmm. yeah, she, We're talking about you. Yeah, we're Good talking job. about But you know, don't you think they're really giving like Kanye and Kim a hard time with this, you know, them being together and the pregnancy. Now she's due any moment like she could actually be giving birth yeah, she right now <laughs> you know that's the thing she could be giving birth now because she's ready to right. pop but uh wide. yeah yes best so wishes wide. to kim and kanye Smoking. more kanye west news uh now he's probably real upset today because his sixth studio album which drops tomorrow titled yeezus mm-hmm. has been leaked Lord. online already was actually leaked on Saturday. So to prevent unauthorized leaks, you know, Kanye and Jay-Z, when they did their Watch the Throne album, they recorded the tracks in portable studios set up in hotel rooms, you know, not in an mm-hmm. actual recording studio to prevent the leakage. But his album is leaked. And right now he's probably really mad. I mean, you have to expect a leak, don't you? I mean, I it's- mean honestly, it's 2013. And unfortunately, we're living in a time where... You don't even really have to purchase anyone's right. albums to hear their music. Right. Exactly. You know, so I I understand if it's kind of you know messing with his grand unveiling that he probably <laughs> planned to do. do. But I mean, at the end of the day, no one really buys music anymore, unfortunately. Right. And if yeah. people really want to listen to it, they were gonna go to YouTube anyway. Right. Mm-hmm. So. Throw your life up. Get over it. <laughs> Throw your life up. Get over it. Now, what's interesting about his album, which drops tomorrow, but already dropped, mm-hmm. uh, there's a track on there called I Am God. <laughs> oh, <Lord. laughs> I Am God. So, Cass, come on now. And what I'm you, Oprah. <laughs> <laughs> so what do you think about that, Cass? Come on. I Am God. Oh, Lord. You're no God. Yeah. Yeah. That's all I have to say. Again, I think that it's another publicity stunt. I think that Kanye is cognizant of the the fact that everyone is pinning him to the Illuminati and all of this stuff. And I think that he's kind of playing upon people's, you know, emotions with that. So, of course, he's going to name his album, what? I am Jesus Jesus. and have a song called I am God on there and he's he's playing upon all of this and at the end of the day we're we're going to talk about it and you know people are going to be curious and they're going to buy it so I think that it's a genius um way to go ahead and make a really bad rumor which probably won't probably isn't a rumor but that's another show (laughs) but um you know make a really bad rumor you know create some cash in your pocket. Yeah. So more power to him. Well, I won't be buying it. I won't either. I I'm think... Not a, uh, I'm not a fan. I'm not really a Kanye West fan. Well, his first album, I was. Wasn't right. The first was, two or three. Yeah, were Black really, child. really good. But I mean, you know, when you go around saying Jesus and I am God, I mean, right. you know, you have to think about what you're putting out right. to people that look up to you. Because I'm sure Kanye has a lot of fans, and obviously. What I, and what I will say is, although I'm not a fan of some of the things that Kanye West does, he is a phenomenal lyricist, mm. especially in a time where many rappers I would not consider lyricists. So, you know, big thumbs up to you for that, Kanye. You're yeah. definitely phenomenal with yeah, that. Yeah, definitely phenomenal and definitely not God. No. So, two uh, <laughs> Dunkin' Donuts. You like donuts? Want some donuts this Krispy morning? Krispy Kreme, honey. But, I don't do that. <laughs> well, I like Dunkin'. Really? Yes. No, honey, a, I got a bagel was, from there in New, New York, and it was terrible. I like Mary Lee. I, I like, like Mary Lee. I do yeah, like we Mary Lee. We went to school together. 
me and Mary Lee. So Dunkin' Donuts um, is going to reward some workers for enduring a customer's racist rant. Now this woman, okay, she goes into the Dunkin' Donuts in Fort Lauderdale, Florida. And there were two um, Arab employees working mm -hmm. there. And basically she's claiming that she didn't receive her receipt from the previous day. So she goes into the Dunkin' Donuts and she just goes off like racial things you know just cursing and demanding a free meal okay now she recorded herself doing doing this and it has gone viral she has the video on her facebook page and it's on youtube um and basically the arab employees didn't say anything you know they probably were scared and she was a little white girl I no. was just about to ask. Yeah. Please tell me. <laughs> no, it was. Please tell me. It wasn't us. It wow. was a little white girl, and she kind of really went in on them. Now, of course, Dunkin' Donuts released a statement, and they said we commend the franchise crew member for handling the difficult situation with grace and patience. We believe that. Uh, was a very powerful example of great customer service and the respect of our crew members have for our guests. Yeah, I don't know. They may have been on something because seriously, like, if I worked at Dunkin' Donuts and somebody came in there and they were saying, you know, the N-word or something like that, I would have dunked them in a donut. So they wouldn't have... Child, let me tell you something. The only person that is like Christ is Christ. But I'm trying to be like them. Right. And I, I, uh, I just laugh when I, child, God is good. It's yes. a lot. But uh, apparently the, um, you know, the franchise... Uh, director has given the employees something special, really special. Rewarded and they, and they deserve money. it. I'm going to be something. honest with you yeah. because, honey, if you would have came at me calling me all kind of stuff, Dunkin' Donuts would have had to fire me. Hello? <laughs> yeah, it and been it would have been a whole other situation because I don't need that job. Mm -hmm. right. No, mm -hmm. dunk That's somewhere not else. Now, if I was at Mary Lee, you know, maybe I wouldn't have went off. But big up to you, so all jokes aside, that, yeah, yeah I, I, they deserve it. They, and that's they pretty do. tacky. Yeah. Like, because you know do. when you go into places, you know, fast food joints, some of the workers there kind of, well, you know. Oh, honey. But, <laughs> but you you don't disrespect a person. Right. No, just, never. You just don't do that. Never. Well, this is pretty heated. What about President Obama? Um, this gay pride celebration at... Mm -hmm. The White House. Now, two nine year old girls, uh, Zia and Luna, introduced President Obama at the White House's LGBT Gay Pride Month celebration on Thursday, June 13th. The girls outlined Obama's agenda, and they, the points included gun control, more funding for failing schools, and of course, gay marriage because the third graders have two moms. Okay. Now, many are saying that this is a way for Obama to exploit children to push his agenda um, for gay people, basically. Mm -hmm. So what do we think about this? Two nine-year-olds at an LGBT event introducing the president. Is that cute? Is it not? I just don't understand why it was two nine-year-old girls. Mm -hmm. I just... I, I think... I, I get where you're coming from, but I think where Obama was probably trying to go with it is um, the fact that they were being parented by same-sex couples and mm -hmm. probably trying to eradicate the stigma of, you know, same-sex couples parenting or adopting or something okay. like that. Right. I think that's probably where he was trying to go with to it. To go with it. To be honest with you, I'm indifferent. Like, um... I don't know. I, I I really don't um I don't see anything So you don't find anything wrong with it? I don't know. Maybe you have a point that could probably, you know, yeah, change me or sway me, but from what I hear I don't really see Well my thing is, you know, a person's sexual preference is their sexual preference. Right. That's the bottom right. line. But why do we have to bring this on children so young right. or remind children well, not remind them, but yeah, literally bring this on them at such a young age, you know, for them to be exposed to that. I'm sure those two girls probably think them having two mommies could be normal. Right. You know, that may be all they know. So when you bring two children into a situation like that, like an event like that, it just, to me, it affects them in a negative way. 
But, you know, they probably may be, you know, fighting against some slight discriminations and some persecutions at school or in their social environment because I'm sure they have noticed that there's something different about mommy and mommy at home versus right. their friends having a mother and a father. Right. Right. And I think that's probably kind of why, you know, uh, Obama... Obama did it. Yeah. You know. But it, do, do you think he's like trying to play the kid card? Like, because, you know, kids are cute and we use kids to sway people over. Because why it couldn't have been the moms? You know, the, it could have been the two moms. And they could have said, you know, we have two girls um, mm-hmm. as opposed to the girls being there. You know, because now when they go back to school, they're probably going to be teased. If they you haven't know, been teased already. already. Well, right. it'll probably be heightened. Mm-hmm. To me, when you. When you focus in on it so much, it makes it worse. You think that he sensationalized it. Absolutely. Instead of, you know, what he probably could have intended to do. I think that his intention was a good one. Mm -hmm. But I do think that there is a chance that he could have sensationalized it and it could have been taken the wrong way. Because I totally see your perspective. Mm -hmm. But you know me, I try to give people the benefit of the doubt. I think that's probably where he was trying to go. Well, of course, people are mad, and the sites, blog sites, are you know calling him Satan and a demon, and you know all this kind of stuff. They've been on the president since the first term, right. which is really sad, and it's all because of the color of his skin. That's the bottom right. line to it, to be honest. Mm-hmm. So, Miss Glam Attic, before we go, have you been enjoying yourself? Enjoy, yes, yes, enjoy? I've been asking when I was going to be on the show. <laughs> You're here now, so before we go, you know, tell people about your business and what you do and where they can find you. Yes. Okay, well, I'm Cassandra Glam Attic Garner. Mm-hmm. Um, I'm a makeup artist, a singer, a hairstylist. Um, I work in salon studios and um, and I also work in Cortana Mall mm-hmm. at VIP Salon. Um, you can find me on Instagram, Facebook, Vine, Twitter, all of that. <laughs> um, <laughs> my Instagram is at Glamorous Life um, and my Twitter is at My Glamorous Life. So. Oh, and yeah. you're, you are glamorous. Yeah. You're on Vine. How and is her Vine? Her work is amazing. Yeah. Her work yeah. is Thank amazing. If, is. if I didn't do my own face, she'd be doing it. She'd She's doing amazing. It. So how is Vine? Tell me. Um, I love Vine, actually. Yeah. I mean, it's just so many social, social. network companies that are coming out. Yeah. So now I'm kind of like, well, what is Path? Yeah. And what like, is um, Keith? Keith. Yeah. And then there's um, Hang. What? I'm like, what are all Hang? this? But Vine is hilarious. It's like seven video second, um, seven seconds of video um, that you can kind of stop and record and stop and record and put the video together. And it's they have some little Duval. His Vine is hilarious. Okay. Um, the Emmanuel Hudson from the um, I. You know what I'm talking yeah, about. Yeah, yeah, I can't think of it right now. It's early. But uh, <laughs> his vine is hilarious. Vine. So these these people are really nuts. Okay, well that's I wonder what's next though. Like in social media. Because I found out about <laughs> sidewalk. I found out about about yeah, yeah, the thing. Thing. Right, exactly. Wow, this has been fun. Well, thank you so much for joining us this morning on DeMartez Presents co Remember, every morning, 6 a.m. at DeMartez.com. If you miss the show at 6 a.m., you can go to YouTube and you can watch it. Go to DeMartez.com because it's on there all day, Monday, Tuesday. And don't forget to listen to the DeMartez Show where I give you entertainment scoop on Wednesday, your midweek dose, Weird News Wednesday. So, also, before we go, if you have any questions or anything, you know, about love, romance, finance, you can email us at demartez at demartez.com. Thanks again, Cass. We yeah, love I you. <laughs> this has been Demartez Presents Coez.